time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. Now today we're gonna be revisiting something I did a week or two ago, and that is I 3D printed Bitcoins. And I printed them in a new material by ColorFab called Bronze Fill. Now this material is special because it contains 80% actual bronze dust. So it's more metal than it is plastic. Now, of course, if you watched that video, we ran into some problems. First problem was I bought a vibratory bowl. It's this thing that basically shakes around. They usually use it for cleaning shell casings for guns. And I used a media that's called walnut shells. Well, it's, it is walnut shells. And in a nutshell, it didn't work. No pun intended. Okay, maybe a little intended. All right, guys, well, this time around, I actually did my research and I think I've got what we need to shine these Bitcoins to a beautiful shine and then move on to something cooler like my face, yeah. Little mini barnacles. Mwah, yeah. Alright guys, well in the original video, the problem that I had was with the vibratory bowl and the media I was using. So after doing some research, I found out I should get a rock tumbler. You know those little guys that just tumble around and around and around and you put stuff in them and it polishes things? Yeah, that's what I needed. But unfortunately, I have this problem with buying really large objects. I, I don't know what it is. I might be compensating. Alright, so this is a 12 quart Lortone rock tumbler. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Oh man, I almost forgot that knife. No, 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 that knife. There's the drum. Looks like a freaking gallon ice cream container. And then here we have the base. Cause it's all about that base, about that base. All right, so here's what the unit looks like. It's got a rubberized outer coating on the drum and this thing is huge. So I wanted to get something that could polish anything that I could print out and build volume on that 3D printer. Now they do make smaller ones. So if you're just polishing stuff like my little coins and things, you don't need anything this big. I just figured, nah, why the hell not? Also, if you guys are interested in this, I have an affiliate link to Amazon down in the video description. I'll have one for the big guy and one for its little brother if you guys aren't so ambitious. Well, after doing my research, this seemed like the rock tumbler to get because it has a very, very nice motor. It's all metal construction. The container is super rock solid. It's supposed to have semi-quiet operation, but you imagine it's gonna be banging stuff around in there. So it's gonna be a lot louder than the vibratory bowl. But it's Definitely an industrial build quality. All right, so now we got the tumbler, right? Well, now we need the right media for the job. Now I picked up two bags of this. This is actually stainless steel tumbling media. It never wears out. It comes in five pound packages. I also have the links down in the video description for this stuff. Now the cool thing about this media is it's a lot heavier and it has sharper edges and it can get into smaller areas. So unlike the walnut shells, which are very lightweight, don't have a lot of mass, the tumbler constantly dropping the, you know, dropping the object you're trying to polish into this media is gonna have a much better effect. All right, let's open up the container and take a look inside. Now you can see even with the lid off, you have another inner plate right here with a rubber seal. All right, you can see it's just got a little, oh my God, that reese. Warning, when you get this, it may smell like rotten tuna fish. But here you have a rubber grommet on the lid. And then if you look inside here, you can see it's just a hexagon shaped pattern to help the media move around. And it's just rubber on rubber so that when you squish the plate together, it forms a watertight seal. All right, so we got the tumbler, we got the media. Now let's just take it down to the garage, fill it up and see how it does. All right, here we are hanging out in my awesome bathtub. So let's go ahead and take the top off this again. The top is a little tricky to remove, but it's only because the metal grabs the rubber so good. And to be honest, you want that seal. You don't want it dumping liquid all over the floor. There we go. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna add our steel pins to the mix. So let's go ahead and open that up. And there I'll give you a little look at them. They're just little steel grains, a little bit bigger than a piece of rice. Well, in length, not in girth. Okay, so now you can see inside of there, we've got our steel shot. And you can see it's actually enough to tumble in there. I might even add a little more later if it doesn't work that good. All right, so the next thing we need to do is add water. I'm just gonna fill it until it's to the top of the stainless pins. Now, the last thing to do is add the detergent. You can see here, I didn't have any Dawn, but I have this stuff, which is bright green. It's supposed to be all biodegradable, dye-free and fragrance-free. So I think it'll work just fine. So you just wanna put a little dash in there. Okay, that might've been a little more than a dash. Now, all that's left is to add the coins. You can see here, I'm gonna take one coin, this one right here. You can see it's not polished, fresh off the printer. I'm gonna set that to the side. That's gonna be our control so we can compare how good of a job this does. We're gonna go ahead and drop those in. See them floating in there. Go ahead and seal her up. Okay, the rubber seal's in there good. On the top, make sure you get it together really good because we are dealing with water and soap now. We don't want that pouring all over the floor and all over the electronics. And we're ready to tumble. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the machine. Okay, the bar is turning. All right, I think we're good to go. We're just gonna set it in there.
Now remember, this is what the old Bitcoin looks like completely unpolished. The back's kind of shiny, but only because it printed on a flat surface on the printer, but the front is not reflective at all. All right, let's put four hours on the clock. Mark. All right, so we got three hours and 58 minutes to go. Now, just to talk to you guys a little bit about the other video, you might think, oh man, that's a failure. Why'd you do that? Why don't you return the vibratory bowl? Hold on, guys. So failure is a very important part of learning. I accept I bought that vibratory bowl not knowing if it would work, the Walmart media not knowing that it would work. But the cool thing is I showed you guys a video throughout multiple times, running at 24 hours, adding polish, adding stuff. I showed what didn't work. So hopefully somebody will watch that video and realize, crap, I better not get a vibratory bowl. I should probably get a rock tumbler. And just my luck in three hours and 57 minutes, we're gonna pull the coins out of there and they're not gonna be polished at all. And I'm just gonna have a face palm moment. Taking bets. All right guys, through the miracle of editing, it has been four hours. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on out of here. Come on, oh, I already see suds. Oh man, I think I might have overdone it on the soap. It's dirty though. It's like dirty gray soap. Oh man. Well, hopefully the coins are somewhat polished after four hours. Rinsing the coins, rinsing the coins, dun dun. Rinsing the coins, rinsing the coins. That is some dirty water. Dig all the coins out. There's two of them. Oh man, those little steel BBs got stuck in everywhere. All right, well, let's see how they look under some light. All right, so here I have the coins that came out of the tumbler. And you can see, hopefully on the camera, there is a sparkly sheen to it when you turn it. It's not super polished, but definitely compared to the control, this is the one that didn't go in. At least I can clearly see under the light, you can see the, the shininess. It's almost like a little bit of a mirror effect. It's pretty dull, but it's there. And this one's completely flat. So we definitely know, especially around the edges here, it looks really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the other five pounds of stainless steel tumbling media, add it so we'll have 10 pounds in there, and this time I'm gonna use less water and less soap because of course that was way overkill on the soap. I also noticed the little steel pins tend to get stuck in everywhere, but you can go ahead and just pull them out with your fingernails or you can use like a little pick or something to get them out of there. Okay, so I rinsed the little steel stuff down there and I'm gonna add another bag to it into the pool. Okay, so now we got double the material. We got 10 pounds of steel in there. You can see in my hand right there. So now, because I like tinkering around so much, I'm gonna try putting a less amount of water in there because I think I did too much water last time. It was actually like above the pins. So I'm gonna meter it a little bit using this cup. Let's see here. Perfect, so now there's water in there, but it's not completely covering everything. And last but not least, we're just gonna put one drop, not a squirt, a drop. Boop, just like that. All right, I took one of the seven coins out just so that we have another point of reference after running these all night. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in. Seal her up. It does seem like it seals up easier now that I've worked it a little bit. So I rinse it off. All right, let's go get it back on the machine. We got our 10 pounds of media, we got our soap, we got our water. Now we're going to do is stick it on here. It's definitely a little louder now with that extra material in there, so hopefully that means it's going to be more abrasive towards the coins. Yeah, I really think I overdid it on the water last time. So we're going to go ahead and let this run overnight and take a look at them in the morning. All right, I just woke up. It's been a little over 11 hours that this thing's been tumbling here, so let's go ahead and take it off and see what those coins look like. Now remember, this time around I used twice the media, so we had 10 pounds of the steel pins in there. And on top of the steel media, I used less water and less soap. So hopefully this did the trick. Found that running some hot water on it makes the lid so much easier to get off. All right, let's loosen her up. Okay, here we go. I'm not seeing tons and tons of suds, that's good. Go ahead and rinse them off. All right, let's fish them all out of there. These little steel shot things, these things get everywhere. Uh, they are a little bit tricky to work with. Oh crap, I'm getting them everywhere. Come on, I don't want to destroy my plumbing, stop. All right guys, so here's five of the six coins that I just pulled out of the polisher after running it for 11 hours overnight. You can see how reflective these are. Now these are super, super reflective. Now if I compare it to one that hasn't been polished, you can see here side by side, in my hand, there's a huge change in color and reflectivity. Now, another thing you notice is look how dark 
this coin is versus the original. I mean, they look like they're printed out of two different materials. So not only are they reflective, it's a lot darker. But I also noticed that that was a side effect of the media I was using, because if you look, it's more of a gray than a bronze. So what I did is I went ahead and used some polish to clean up one of the coins. Let me show that to you. I used Brasso. And here's one of the coins I cleaned up. And now you can see it's much more closer to the original color. And it's still very, very shiny and reflective. As you can see when I'm turning it into the lens here, you can see the little, little light refracting off of it. Sorry, reflecting, reflecting. Somebody got me in the last video. Not refracting, reflecting. But look how shiny that is. I mean, it looks great. And compared to one of the other coins here, you can definitely see the color difference. Now, to be honest, I kind of like the effect of having the, the metal dust or the metal rub off on there from the stainless steel. I think it looks kind of cool. So depending on the look that you're after, having that metal rub off on the coin might be kind of a cool thing. And look how reflective the back of the coin is. You could use this for signaling an aircraft. The original coin, not nearly as reflective. All right, so going through the whole process, this is the original coin. You can see not reflective, very, very matte finish, doesn't look metallic at all. It's smooth on the back, but only because the plastic uh, laid down on the glass when it was printing, but definitely not very coin-like. Now, after four hours, you can see this one, there's a little bit of a sheen. You can see it's starting to polish, but nowhere near where we want it. After running all night for 11 plus hours, this is what you end up with. Now, again, I added double the media, used less water and less soap, so much more dramatic result. I think the, the metal was rubbing off on it much more than the previous one, just because there wasn't as much soap, there wasn't as much water, so there was more metal contact. But you end up with a coin that's more towards gray than bronze, but very, very shiny. And then after polishing it and cleaning it up, you end up with this guy right here. Now I can still do a lot of polish work on the inside to clean it up. And I could also use steel wool to finish the job and make it shine like a mirror. But just with a really quick polish to clean it up and get all of that uh, stainless steel media off of it, the, the dust, you can see it is like a mirror on the backside. I mean, it is super, super shiny and it definitely looks like metal. All right, well, since the coins turned out so good, I think it's safe to throw a little mini barnacles in there now. In he goes. All right, guys, you remember what mini barnacles looked like before we put them into the tumbler? Well, this is what he looks like after 24 hours. Bam. Look how metallic and shiny that looks. It looks like it was cast from metal. I have done nothing else to this. Literally, I took this and I threw it into the bin right after I took the coins out and ran it for 24 hours. And this is what you end up with. Look how shiny that is. Now, there was a little break down here, but that was a weak spot in the print and the metal shot managed to punch a hole through it, but nowhere else did it punch through. And I did notice that it did tend to scratch it up. It got rid of a lot of the printing lines, but there is a lot of fine scratching that was created by the media. So once you polish something in the, in the media tumbler, I recommend taking it out and actually finishing it up with some steel wool and everything like that if you wanted to make it look like a show quality piece. I also noticed there is a little tiny bit of a chip out of the ear here, but seeing as the underside of it's perfect, I think I actually damaged this when I was playing with it earlier. I don't think that was from the tumbler, but you can see that is a pretty amazing end result. Now, just like with the coins, you can clearly see that, you know, it definitely has kind of that grayish shine to it. The bronze isn't coming through, except for if you look like down inside of the hair and stuff like that. So I definitely want to take this and try to use some Brasso on it and see if we can bring some more of that bronze color out. I'm going to do that right now. All right, we're back outside. We're going to polish this guy up. I'm just using Brasso right here. It's cleaner and polisher, but it doesn't just work on brass. It works on stainless and all that stuff. So that's great. Just going to take my soft cloth here, put a little bit on there. Okay. Now make sure you rub it into the cloth really good. I've made quite a few mistakes in my learning process. If you don't get it really saturated in, little globs get stuck in all the cracks and good luck getting it out. So just get it good and rubbed in the cloth. And let's start on this cheek right here. You can see it's pretty shiny. That way we can kind of get a comparison. You can see how much of that gray stainless steel dust is coming off there. And you can already see the bronze color starting to come through. Now this definitely isn't a hugely quick process, so you'll probably be at it for a very long time. I'm not going to finish this piece right now, but I'll give you guys an idea. I'm going to polish one side of it so you can see what it looks like versus the other side. Now the stuff smells horrible, so make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated space. This is toxic as hell. Alright guys, so after polishing for about 10 minutes, you can see as I rotate it around here, you can see this side is more of a bronze color. And it's not as reflective, and I think that has a lot to do with the cloth I used just wasn't soft enough. 
but you can definitely see there's more bronze color now and it is definitely still reflective you can see the light shining off of it right in here it's just with that metal applied to the surface from the polisher it's like a freaking mirror but again it depends on what look you're going for now if you want this to shine perfectly Another thing that you can do is you can actually hand wet sand it too. And I've seen some people do that. And I've seen people take uh, actual polishing pads and buffers and everything or spend a lot of time in one spot buffing it with polishing compound. You can actually get it to look just like a penny. But for 10 minutes of polishing, you can see there, it still looks metallic. It still has that bronze color look to it. But I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like this side. I mean, the stainless steel pins kind of applying their own little residue to it. I'm almost inclined to keep it like that next time I print something and then just clear coat it. Or maybe just rub it and buff it around some of the angles so that it gives it contrast so that you have this really shiny, almost gray mixed in with the bronze. It almost gives it like an age. But I am having a lot of fun experimenting around with this, guys. And I'll tell you right now, the rock tumbler is the way to go. If you're looking for a way to just chuck stuff in there and polish it up when you're printing in the metallic filaments like Color Fab Bronze Fill, that's the way to go. All right, guys, well, I've been having a lot of fun doing these 3D printing videos for you guys and showing you some of the exotic things you can do with just a common desktop 3D printer. And the polishing stuff with the ColorFab bronze fill material is awesome. If you guys are interested in getting your own bronze fill material, take a look down in the video description. I have some affiliate links down there where you can purchase your own. Now, the rock tumbler turned out to be the best way to go for sure. So if you guys would like that rock tumbler, I also have affiliate links down in the description to pick that up from Amazon. And you can get the big mamba jamba or you can get the smaller one. If, you, if you're not as ambitious as I am. And that steel shot material is down there also, and that works great as you can clearly see. If you guys made it to the end of this video, make sure you hashtag polish in my bronze. Ladies. And if you guys have any questions, come over and follow me. I am at Barnacles on Twitter, or you can leave a comment down below, but chances are your question will get answered much quicker if you're over on Twitter. That's my primary social network. And if you guys make your own prints and you do some polishing and you get some crazy weird results or good results or even just horrible results, please make sure you post them down below and send them to me because I want to be able to inform people on the best methods to do things. And sometimes that also means telling them about the worst methods to do things. All right, guys. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.